Oh, that annoying flicker and that noise. It's time for an upgrade. Hey, Workshop Gang. You've probably seen in previous videos where I've installed some LED lights. Uh, in fact, these that you see right here are the Harbor Freight lights that I installed uh, probably over a year ago. I've had great luck with those lights and they've done a great job. These lights over here, see if I can get the angle right, it are the LED lights that I installed, oh, it's probably been two or three years ago. And I had the standard fluorescent tube lights and I did the conversion, which is basically just removing the ballast and redoing the wiring and installing LED lights. So with that said, I have this box, which I received from Amazon a couple days ago. And this is a 12 pack bundle of LED lights that I plan to replace the fluorescent lights with uh, in the back shop, in the paint area. So I'm going to open this box up and uh, go through the process of replacing those lights. So I've taken two of them out of the box. You can see here that they come in these cardboard tubes. They have a little plastic cover that goes over the end of the tube. And then the LED light itself. Of course these are 8 feet long and on the end here it has the little prong that's like your T12 type of connector. That is the same thing that I've used on these lights up here. So basically you convert your what they call a tombstone type of fitting. Oh, well, you don't convert it, you just adapt the wiring and then these will fit into those fittings. So these lights are relatively the same, I believe. Um, they have the frosted appearance on them. So I will get a, a pair of these completely out of the tubes and then we'll move forward to getting the old lights out of the fixtures. So here's a look at the provided instructions. Step one, turn off the power. Two, remove diffuser if provided, which I don't have that. Three, remove the fluorescent tube. Please dispose of the items properly as it contain mercury. Four, cut the wires as shown in the diagram. If you can see that. Five, make sure the new connected, uh, the new wire connected to branch circuit as shown. Replace the cover over the original wiring channel and install the LED tubes, close the diffuser, turn on the power. Okay. Basically what they're telling you is, again, we're going to bypass the ballast. You're going to cut it out of the system and then you're going to make connections on each end. Now they have an L and an N. I don't know what that means. Um, you know, you think positive, negative, whatever, but LN, I don't know. Over here uh, it has the L on one end and the N on the other. Let's see if I can't make sense of this. So again, I do want to point out something else. The fluorescent tubes that are in this are the lights, those two are kind of purplish in appearance, I believe, and these are more of a whitish color. So hopefully, when all is said and done, when you see this car with the lights on, it's going to look different. Because right now, it's just kind of a dull uh, look to it, at least from my perspective. The other advantage I have is I have LED lights on the side, so I'm going to turn those on. And that's going to help give me some lighting because obviously I have to turn these off. Hey, no buzz. Okay, I have the covering off as I showed. So the easy part right now is cutting loose the ballast. So I'm going to cut these two wires on this end and cut them on this end. Now the idea is you take the wiring 
In this case, I have a blue and a red, and I'm going to make both of those connected. So it's not a loop, but it's one end that feeds both ends, or both of those tombstones, as they call them, at the same time. And then on this end, same thing. I'm going to take the leads and make this black and white the same feed on those two ends, or the tombstones, and that way, one end is, let's say, positive, and the other end is negative. So, let me try to get that taken care of, and then we'll go take another look. Hopefully you can see this, but what I did is I cut the wires off, and both of the pigtails from these tombstones are now connected to the white lead on this end. I also took the ends of the wire or the pieces I cut off and wrapped them around these two leads. Uh, you could connect all four into there if you wanted to. You don't need to. Uh, I will take some black tape and wrap around these ends and also around the wire nut. The next part is I'm going to take this wire and I'm going to have to extend it over to that end. Now I've done this before. I don't see it being an issue. I'm basically going to take a piece of the cutoff wire, reconnect it to that lead, and feed it down, and then connect it to those two so that it's one solid connection. Okay, so again, here's the, the white one twisted to the white and the black. I put tape over these ends, and then I use the black lead or black wire on this lead and fed it over that channel and I just need to connect it to those two at that end. So that's all I did. Just connected that black lead to the red and blue and now that end is fed by the black. Now all I have to do is tuck all this, well I'll put some tape on here first just to make sure. Tuck everything back in, put the panels back up, put the lights in and see what happens. Oh yeah, don't forget to take that little cover off the end or else it won't go in. <laughs> so it's rigid. These actually flex a small amount and you can pivot them a little that might affect, in fact I'll pivot these a little towards the car. We'll see how that looks. Here we go. Cross your fingers. Let's see that from another angle. Okay, so there's the three remaining fluorescent style, and here's the LED. Ready? Oh, wow. <laughs> Man, that's a difference. That's a huge difference. It may not show up very well on the camera, but that is a huge, huge difference. Uh, now I just need to change out the other three, and we'll have another look. Now before I finish this up, I want to show you, it does have the wiring diagram on the lights themselves, and these are 6000K, 65 watt, 8 foot LED. Okay. I'll post a link to this on my Amazon page if you're interested and let's get this other set in and see how it looks. Okay, I have the second light done. Literally it took 10 minutes to do this swap. Let's see what happens. Oh wow, wow, wow. I wish I could really show you the color difference or the brightness difference, but I don't know if the camera picks it up. 
But that, that looks awesome. So two more to go, well, four more to go, two more light fixtures, and I'll be done. Okay, one final look. Now, I don't know how well this shows up on the camera, but it is definitely brighter in here. And it helps having, you know, white painted walls, uh, reflective ceiling, all that sort of thing. But it is definitely an improvement and I can see much better, at least at this standpoint, of what's going on in here. So, hope that helps. Well, like I said, it made a big difference to me and I'm very happy with how this looks. And so maybe it'll help you if you wanna upgrade your lights or change them out to LEDs at some point. So I wanna thank you for watching. You know, I post a lot of videos on my other channel, Dude Eddie's Garage, they're all car related and I focus on putting everything else on this channel. But regardless, I get support from people from Patreon. So I have a group of people that support me uh, primarily on the Joe Day's Garage channel. But if you're interested in becoming a patron on this channel, there are links in the description below. Everything helps and I appreciate all of it. And I look forward to making more videos because of that. So I wanna thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Leave a comment, let me know what you think about this video, and by all means leave a thumbs up, and that'll be it. So until next time, take care of yourselves. See you.